next. With flying activity uh, complete for the day, um, you, we might want to review our flight logs. So flight logs are kind of best viewed, um, maybe turning your phone sideways, um, but there's a few things to highlight uh, for this. So when you're looking at um, all flights, this would be used to update journey logs and things like that and to see the flying activity um, within the operation. Um, if I uh, switch just to my flights, you'll also see that charges associated with, that with excuse me, charges associated with that flight are also visible. So my 2,000 foot tow in Sierra Oscar cost me $35 and there was no rental cost incurred with that. Um, in all flights, we have the opportunity to sort by different types. So if we were updating the journey log for the Grobe 103, then we can filter just to that glider to make time entry a little bit more convenient with, the, uh, with that flight there. Uh, we also can go through time. I'm not sure how many flights we'll find uh, through time. There's some flights happened yesterday. Um, obviously, this flight didn't get launched or landed. Um, it was left on the line. But you get the idea about the opportunity to see all the activity in the, uh, in the soaring site um, and some filtering and some slicing based on time. Um, for those administrators that do have the permissions, they can click on individual rows and they can make adjustments for tow height, uh, crew changes, um, tow pilot changes, tow plane changes, those sorts of things. Um, that's not available to all members, but there is some self-service functions built in to take up Slack so that if uh, those need to be done in real time that they don't uh, turn into lingering to-dos. They can be tackled by an administrator uh, with the appropriate permissions.